0.12. And all we need to do is just download that to get started. Next thing, we're going to need to have a Unity uh, project um, created. Conveniently, I have one ready to go. I can just drag and drop that over. Now, once you have the uh, the a plugin uh, downloaded, all you just need to do is just basically drag and drop it in. And once that's loaded, we'll see that there's new folders um, that weren't present before. Okay, so you'll see that we have our Web3 Unity and we have our prefabs and scripts, and this is where we're going to spend the majority of our time. Inside the templates, we have templates for both 2019 and 2020, um, supporting LTS versions. And then in our scenes, inside of Web3.Unity, you'll see that we have our WebGL uh, login screen, which is going to capture our account information. So we can get everything um, set up. So we'll go into the build settings, WebGL, and we'll switch up our platform. Okay, and then we'll go into our player, set, player settings and just set up the template that is needed for our, our particular version of Unity. Okay, now we can just select WebGL 2020 and that's all we need from there. And then we'll just wire up the scenes. So the web login scene for accessing the player account information, and then a sample scene, which will be our game screen. So there's not much to do with the actual web login uh, scene itself. So we'll spend our time here just wiring up our uh, sample scene. So we'll need to create a UI element, and we'll just use a text element, and I'll call this account info. And then we can just go in and create a folder called scripts. And then just create a new C sharp script. And we'll just call this player info. Okay, so if we bring up our documentation here, and I'm just going to do a search for player account, we'll see that we have the player account information that is stored inside our player props. For convenience, I'm just going to copy this piece of line of code. And we'll need to access the uh, using Unity Engine, and we'll get the UI. We'll create a public variable for our text property. We'll just call this player account. And then we can just assign the player account's text property to the account information that we get once we log in. Okay, so everything is good there. We'll just save that and close it. And then in our uh, text property here, we'll just drag over our player info and then just drag in the player account so that everything is wired up. And that's all we need for that. We can save the scene and then we will build and run. Create a new folder. Let's call this player account. And then build and run our project. Okay, so now that everything's built up, we see our login screen here. 
So we'll conveniently log in. This will bring up MetaMask. We'll just log in. Select an account. Connect. And you'll see here that we have our account information and it will be convenient with the similar to the or should be exactly the same to the account information that you see here. So if you've done that, you've successfully downloaded, installed, and configured uh, the Chainsafe Gaming SDK. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.